guys today we are gonna be making a puzzle game so a lot of you guys stare at the screen all day long and I feel like you should instead of that you should be creating and playing your own games so let's get into it so to make your own puzzle you'll be needing scissors a pencil and the most important thing a big piece of cardboard you can uh, make a small puzzle if you have little pieces of cardboard but to make a big wide puzzle I'm using this cardboard piece. So first things first we're gonna sketch out our drawing in this big piece of cardboard so let's do it. So guys I'm actually gonna be drawing a emoji design so I'm gonna use a compass as well. So I'm actually done with my circles, I'm going to be doing an emoji here, 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 here and here. So I'm going to start outlining everything. So for outlining my drawing I'm gonna be using this best art fine liner let's now do the faces so now I am done outline so now it's time for coloring and I have some color pencil selected gaps I am gonna be using this glitter pen so I am done with my picture here now we are gonna be drawing the puzzle shapes which come in a puzzle now to get equal squares of puzzle pieces I'm gonna be using a scale now I'm going to be drawing horizontally as well. So now the squares you got will become the puzzle pieces. So the more squares you make, the more complicated. And, and the more complicated and fun the puzzle will do. Now you can start drawing the curves and the lines which come to form the puzzle. Now I am finished here and make sure you do curves on each side of a puzzle piece. And now you will need cellophane tape, clear tape. So we need the tape to cover the whole thing in it so that it has a glossy finished piece. 
you can flip this over and just make it like that and then you can trim it you can trim it and keep doing that layer by layer till you reach the bottom to make this more easier you can just take these excess pieces and place them tape them down make sure you overlap it so that everything will be covered now when you're done and you still have some excess here there's an easy way to fix it you can trim the sides so and then you can flip it over and bend it down there we go now we have a shiny layer which makes it look very nice and now it's time to cut the puzzle pieces this process of cutting might take some time so you can I am back from cutting all of the pieces of the puzzle and you can make this how small you like so these are all my pieces and I'm gonna show you the finished result how fun it will be to solve it so this is the last piece and there is my puzzle finished i um i did this puzzle with a friend and it was so much fun and if you would like this puzzle to be a bit more easier you can add more details so that you'll know where they go and but if you want it to be really tricky make it less details like mine i hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you do this at home. It's so fun to make it and play with it. And make sure you subscribe and like this video. Uh, make sure to share it with your friends so that you can all do this together. It would be so fun. So, bye.